You know, when I get up every morning, every week, and I, I pray, and I, I listen to some preachers on the, on the TV, television in the mornings, and try to kind of get my weight day together, and I thank God for His loving kindness in the morning, His faithfulness of protecting me that night, and I thank Him for forgiving me of all my sins and healing all of my diseases, for relieving me from a life of destruction, for filling my mouth with good things so that my youth may be renewed like the eagles, for executing righteousness and judgment for me against any oppression. I thank Him for setting me free. I thank Him for making, making known all His ways to me. I thank Him for guiding me with His mercy and His grace in my time of need. All of that is so great in the morning. And I have other prayers that I pray by as well. And uh, then you go out into the world. And something made me so distraught one day. I was just distraught for about an hour. And I actually forgot who I was. I was distraught. It just threw me for a loop. Did this happen to me? And I know you have situations in your life that happen to you and you just can't believe this happened to you or challenges in your life, you can't, can't believe this happened to you, but it is. And how I handled it, I can't tell you from this day to that. I went home that night and I started working on some other things to get my mind off of it. And it, it happened for a while and I went to sleep that night and I had to ask God to forgive me, but when I woke up that morning, guess what? It hit me again. It came right back on me again. It was trying to tear me down. And I was getting dressed to go to work that morning. And um, I said, God, I trust you. Before I even leave out this house, I trust you today with everything that I do. And guess what happened? Today's prayer is Psalm 116 and 10. I kept my faith. Even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. Lord, I don't understand my suffering. But I will choose to trust you anyway. You are my strength and my deliverer. I praise you with all my heart. For you are my rock in times of trouble. Let me say something else. Because this is, this is very important to me too. The ways of the world offer a dose of short-lived fun. Followed by a sentence of long-term sorrow. Please keep me from buying in to the world's lies. Help me to focus my intentions and desires on the path of life to which you call me. It may not seem glamorous at a temporal glance, but the wonders and joys you offer are deep and pure and profound, lasting for all eternity and satisfying the true desires of my heart. Thank you for the peace and the promise of living in your presence. Now that's important to me. These kind of words are the words that keep me going, that fill me with God's strength and allows me to know that I do trust in God and His will. And no matter what, what I go through in a day's time, keep trusting in God anyway. But back to this. This is what happened to me. I was getting dressed and a, a wisdom from God this is why I walk by his supernatural wisdom every day. Wisdom from God said, be still. Just a little whisper came in my ear and said, be still. And you know what? I stopped and I said, you know, no longer. I am not going to let this overtake me. I'm going to get up, I'm going to go to work, and I'm going to act like it never existed. And I'm going to keep moving because I know God has greater things for me that's about to happen. I know I'm about to have a breakthrough in my life, and that's what I'm going to stay focused on. The goodness of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God, the compassion of God, and His forgiving spirit. I hope this helped you. I want to tell my little story. I've been wanting to tell it for like three weeks now. I hope it helped you. It still helps me when I talk about it. But until next in your life, whatever you do, wherever you go, with your family, with your friends, your affiliates, your co-workers, enjoy your life. Enjoy the people around you. And I'll see you in next Sunday morning's prayer.